Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. So today we have a little bit of a haul, we have a PR haul. So if I get like three or more uh, brands in at a time that I do PR with, you know, I actually like just to do like a little mini haul with you guys. And then you guys can tell me which one you kind of would rather see first. So I thought I would do that today. Let's start with, yeah, let's start with Born Pretty. So we have some products from Born Pretty. Now they, these are the, um, what do you call those guys? Those liquid chrome. I'm about to rip this box. Those liquid chrome. Okay. okay, you're so pretty. You are gorgeous. All right, you know what? Let me just go ahead quickly, take all these out of the boxes, and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. So we have all of the chromes. They sent me three of them, I believe, and then I bought three of them because I am such a set person and I just wanted to have them all. You really want to know? So you really have to give them a good shake to see the color. When they separate, they kind of just look like blue, I feel, or almost like that whitey purple. But then when you shake them, you're going to get the true essence of the color. I don't know a lot about them, to be honest. I haven't worked with them much. And they also sent this color, CG052. It's giving me like Barney vibes, like purple. I don't know. Maybe not Barney, maybe purpley pink. I think there's like a hue of pink in the background of it though. I think Barney's a little bit more like purple purple don't know why that character is on my mind but it is solid spider gel now this seems so intriguing because it's clear I feel like I haven't seen a clear one so I was wondering if I could put the spider gel on a nail and then chrome the spider gel with that chrome like I wonder if that would work right let's just try a quick fast so spider gel is very stringy There, so we have a little bit on. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? There, a little bit. A little bit on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in and cure. Okay, so now we have our little guy here. I'm just going to give it a quick wipe. I have no clue if this is going to work, guys. Honestly, I really don't. I'm going to have a little play. I haven't used, like, the liquid form. So I really don't even know what is best. Okay. Like, I'm not hating that. Okay. We let it dry. I feel like it just kind of like dries on almost. I 
And I'm assuming you could either just top coat around the little areas that you want to keep chrome or here we go or clean up the extra chrome leave that be for a second this color though super pretty we can give that a quick little swatch here I don't know if I will use it in a future design with these products so I'll just give her a quick one oh she pretty yeah, it's not as purple as I really thought, actually. It's a little more on the pinker side, I feel. Mm. Beautiful summer tones, though. I really do like that. Guys, I do have a discount code with Warm Pretty. It'll pop up somewhere on your screen if you want to save some money. You want to try out these chromes it's so neat though like i feel like i really have to know what i'm doing though like I, I don't know exactly what i'm doing yet with the chromes i haven't practiced right so i really just kind of want to see it they dry really really quick so i just put a little alcohol on i want to see how there we go so that's how that would look it's not neat though Some neat stuff you could do with that spider gel. It's just all about trying to get control over it, right? That is the hard part. We'll go another quick layer over here. Yeah, so I almost feel like these paint on. Feels different than the other one I bought from AliExpress. Just to like kind of play with it. Well, this is completely different, so this is intriguing. Cool. Yes. I know. So now they say that you just you just, just rub it in. Okay, I feel like that like takes it off. I feel like you could really make some cool designs with these. If you layer them up and actually just like let them dry. Come on, focus. Whoa. Well, there's a good example for that one. Okay, guys. So we're going to put those chromes away for now. That is that color. I think that color is absolutely gorgeous. Let me just get my little. That's a beautiful, beautiful color. Maybe we could do something with that. Okay, okay. And then uh, that's like the chromes. I didn't top gloss or nothing. You could do some really cool designs, even like layering them. I never really thought to layer chromes like the liquid chromes. But that is like so cool. So definitely got my eye going. And then the spider gel is so neat how you can, you can even chrome it like that. That's kind of cool too. There's a lot of fun stuff you could do with the chromes and the spider gel. 
And the purple is just a beautiful little purple pinky color. Okay, let's move on. What else do we have? Might as well do these little brushes. So Yaster sent me these liner brushes, which I'm so grateful. In all truth, guys, I was actually going to go buy these, so I'm glad. It saved me some money. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I own these brushes. They are amazing. I have reviewed these brushes. Did I review them? I don't think I even reviewed them. I just said I liked them. When I bought them. Um, they're nice, though, guys. They're nice. Now, again, you want to take care of them. Be gentle. You have to prep them. All you do is just gently go put your fingers through it to try to loosen it up, get the glue out of it, and then all you're going to go in and go in your um, gel. If you have like a good little brush cleaner, it's fine, but don't use acetone in those things. It will, will hurt your little hairs. We don't want to do that, right? So these are liners. They're double-ended liners. They're really pretty. Love the container. Lids fit nicely. Nice and snug. Now with these brushes, I'm going to say, and the reason I'm like a little, huh, is because I literally have them over here. But what I did when I bought these brushes is I took off all the lids and I got all the lids mixed up and put them all back on and don't get me wrong they fit but they're not as snug like they're just not some of them are not as snug so don't do that <laughs> so I'm just would rather show you these ones here and if you have like a little like fray like this just put it in some hot water and that'll straighten right back out and you'll be perfectly good to go don't you don't need to snip it off all the time hot water will give it a good little um, straighten back out. See? There we go. But yeah, guys, don't mix up all your lids. I'm telling you, it'll annoy you. They, they never fit back as snug as these are, and that's why I'm keeping these like right here. But I do really enjoy these brushes. They are really, really nice. I also enjoy, I have their other brushes here. And that's how they live. They live on my my side here. Oh, all the um, ombre brush is nice. Oh, there we go. So that is a nice stroke brush. Check them out though, guys, Yastard. They have some nice, nice brushes. And I do have a discount code with you guys in the description. Don't worry. We have some change. It'll pop up here on the screen as well. And I like how these ones come numbered. Like you can get this set. I really recommend this set. Honestly, with the discount I have, guys, just get both sets. Like just stop it. It's such a great discount. You're literally like getting it for free, I feel. You might as well just get both at the same time. Um, <laughs> but I love the liners. Like I said, these do come with some liners as well in um, a little bundle but you do have some really long liners i do wish that they were numbered though because i don't know the numbers of them that's really tiny but don't get me wrong you have the smallest to like probably 25 or at least 20 mm i would assume but they're really nice they're good to work with i'm not usually a fan of a double-ended brush to be honest but the reason I can say I do like these brushes is because the lids are tight if the lid was loose I would say no I don't like it and that's why I don't like double-ended brushes for the most part all the lids are really really loose and it's annoying when you're working right and then this lid is like plopping around but these brushes are not like that yester brushes are actually like they're oh, they're pretty tight I don't know what they use, what type of seal they use, but I like it. Do you know what I mean? These ones are looser. That's just because I mixed up all my lids, so don't mix your lids up. Right? If I go over here to the new ones, just because this is... I want to keep them separate, guys. Oh, you're going to need a little hot water. Oh, it's already coming down. But 
you can just tell. They're not as tight as the white ones, but they are tight though. So. Don't recommend mixing all the brushes up, even if you do try to get them like to fit back. I, they just don't, guys. They don't. They don't. So, thank you, thank you, thank you to Yasser, because I needed these, guys. I literally was just going to order them. So, I appreciate you. Um, all the real guys, yeah, go check them out, though. Love their brushes. They're really, really good. Discount will be down below. Do I have a favorite of the two? No, I would, I would honestly say I think you have to get both. Because these, like, these liners this kit you actually get like your gel brush with you get an ombre brush you get um a stroke brush plus a couple liners and then this you get all your liners like this is a good kit like a good 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 kit because you have your your baby baby one and then you have your long long one so you're good to go with both of those kits honestly brush wise you're good unless you're an acrylic user even a gel user i think we spoke i think they're gonna hopefully try to come out with some more gel brushes uh, yeah, so like numbered brushes for us gel users. I know they do have acrylic brushes, so acrylic users, you guys are good to go. Okay, so this is actually not PR. I paid for this, but I do do a lot of PR with um, this brand, so I thought I'd just pop it in here because it's a little lonesome by itself. So, Madam Glam, the Easter box. I did purchase this. Madam Glam did not send me this. Saute. but um, I did want to share this with you guys I will definitely be doing a swatch of these so let me know do you guys want to see this first the born pretty the liners I definitely want to show you guys like that they, they work really good um, for doing like nice straight lines and stuff I'm not the best at straight lines but if you do want like a demonstration video I like just some lines and stuff like that of the brushes let me know and then maybe we can kind of throw that in somewhere but um, this is the Easter box from Madam Glam. It is limited edition, guys. So I don't even know if they're still it. When I looked earlier, there was still some. But they're pretty. They're so cute. So glowing my way. Look at that. I know. Th these have been out. You probably have seen all the colors swatched and everything by now. Most people I know I've seen them lily scent um uh, i'm just saving it to be honest spring bloom that's really pretty I like the color i think the spring bloom actually yeah it is so spring bloom is what i have on my nails right now is that color there <clears throat> so i was just trying to save this like just to do like an easter design because i've seen a lot of out channels already have them out swatch and stuff i can't even open it this is rebirth this is a beautiful color oh goodness it's like a sea foam that's what i'm getting beautiful little pink this is pinkerst pinkster <laughs> pinkster <laughs> pinkers where am I going, girl? Pinkster. That's cute. A nice, beautiful baby pink. And then we have a gorgeous baby blue. Euphoria. Oh, that's nice. It's really pretty. So yeah, I definitely think I'll do some sort of Easter art with this box, considering it's literally coming in an egg. So... This could also be something, let me know. Regardless of what order you guys all pick or what order I decide, they're all gonna get their own individual videos anyways, guys. So it's not that that crazy. I'm just kind of giving you a sneak peek. So Emil sent me some goodies as well. 10 mil bottles, set 12, kit set 12, or set six dash 12. So on Amazon, um, that's how that would look. You can get this off of Amazon. Don't have any discounts for them guys but honestly there's always so many great deals on amazon and with the brand so i don't i don't have a lot but i've actually used their products a little bit not bad at all so these are oh okay perfect we have a purple Oh, 
that's a really nice purple. Ooh. These are 10 mil bottles, so pretty decent size bottle. Cute pink, 060, 056. Ooh, I was not expecting that. That's very bright. Fluorescent, okay. Okay, it's more of a deep type of purple. It's coming up a, like a lot deeper on camera. It's not as deep as it is actually coming up. Again, we'll do some nail art with this set in another video. I don't know what. As well as the swatch. We definitely need to see these colors. Look at that. 055. So we have like neon and then pastel and then a dark purple. Where are we going here? Okay. Okay, now this is more of the dark purple that was showing up earlier. That is true. I can tell this by looking at it and in the bottle. It's kind of a little jelly consistency I'm seeing. Oh wow, what would I do with this? And then some blue. We are still in like the Easter time now. Guys, I didn't. I had no time to do a St. Patrick's Day. I could still do something. Who knows? Why not? You have to do whatever it is on the day. No. So this is set 12. Set 6-12. Let's see what we can create with these colors. That's a lot. Okay. It get, it's going to get the wheels spinning most definitely because... I was thinking, like, let's stay with the Easter vibes, but, like, that's, like, some neons, maybe, like, Easter gone wild? Who knows? Last, but certainly not least, um, definitely a brand well-known on this channel. Every time I do my nails, I use this brand. Every single time. Melody Susie. <laughs> my drill is Melody Susie, so I do use, every time I do my nails, I literally do use the brand. I have two of their drills, love them. To be honest, Melody Susie is the only drill brand I've ever used. I started with Melody Susie. And yeah, I think I've tried, well, I've tried McCart because I bought that one there, but yeah, that's it. So I like it. So this is a whole kit. I apologize. It doesn't say anything on the back. I love that little thing though. Isn't that the cutest? Like, can you do something so neat with that? Like, even frame that? Be a cute little side picture. So adorable. Okay, then. Well, that's a lot. I don't know the... And I don't know if that is actually relevant to the kit. I will definitely, um... Get the links and everything for in the description guys so you guys will know the exact kit number that this is because i'm sorry i don't know it doesn't say does it say it does not say no and these are five mils as well your instructions of course pushback preps all the good stuff i always gravit gravitate to blue i love blues but let's try this little orangey Ooh, that's, ooh, okay, hold on. Okay. Nice and thick. I don't know, I kind of forget about, and this might sound bad, I know, but I kind of forget sometimes about Melody Susie polish. Do you know what I mean? I think I always think of them for their, like, dust collectors and their um, drills and their lamps and all those things, but... Don't be sleeping on their polish. Okay. It's very thick. Well, not very thick, but you know what I mean? Like, it has a good thickness to it. It's not very, it's not like thin thin, which I like. Okay. I love the turquoise. Loved how they're at least colored tabbed on top. That is a good, good, uh, it's a must. It's a must in the studio if you're having any drawer storage so you can see the colors or you can always get the little guys from on top. So this, I think this will be definitely a swatch video. <laughs> um, or I go ahead and swatch it. 
and then maybe create a design or something with it who knows i don't know guys give me some ideas down below let me know what you guys would think or maybe this could be a good live you know me and swatching like oh it's already enough and this is like however how many like for real how many is this does it even tell me or does it tell me Forgot I had that there. Yeah, so that is it, guys. I apologize. So thank you so much to Melody Susie. Thank you, Emil. Thank you, Yasterd. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Born Pretty. So many goodies. So much coming up, guys. What do you guys want to see first? Like I said, this could be maybe like maybe we could do a live for this. We'll definitely do some nail art in here. And anytime I can use the brushes, I usually use these. In all truth, they really sit right on my desk. So those are the ones I always go and grab to. And I'm so glad to have this pack. Because in all honesty, my other brushes are annoying me that are like this. Because all the lids keep falling off. Because I mix, mixed them all up. And that is the reason that they're loose, guys. It has nothing to do with the brushes. So I want to keep these all together um yeah so they'll stay nice and tight so thank you guys so so much don't forget to hit that subscribe give it a thumbs up i'll see you guys in the next one bye